get the message. And just that we want to really help women here locally that are having problems getting the tests they need. And I, I think everybody's rallying behind that message. We are here at Foreman's Foundation to find a cure. It is the second annual tournament, and Jane Seymour joins us behind us. <laughs> what lovely work. Tell me about it. Well, I started painting about uh, 20... It's at least 20 years ago now. It really says something when you're standing next to the person, the actor, who's in a show that was more watched than Baywatch. We passed Baywatch. <laughs> Kevin Sorbo. We passed Baywatch in 1996. I got to brag about that. We yes, a, you do. We had a nice seven-year run. I lived in New Zealand for seven years. That's where we shot it down there. So. Why would you come to something like this? How does it affect you? You know, I'm, I'm a big uh, a believer in, in, in charities and foundations. I, I support a lot of different groups, a lot of different good causes. It's not the SDSU Aztec colors. Tony Gwynn dons a pink and black cap to make a statement. It's, our, it's the baseball team statement that we're aware of, of breast cancer. I was interested in art history. I mean, I like that old stuff. And every time I looked at something, I would imagine what it meant then. The Art San Diego Contemporary Art Fair is modeled after the popular Art Basel in Miami Beach. Absolutely, I think Basel draws thousands of people to Miami. I think San Diego can do the same. We live with it every day. Arts and culture, design is in everything we do. These light fixtures here weren't put in for tonight, they're here. So we see it, it's around us. It's just a matter of enlightening people that you're living with it anyway. We all know the beaches and the tourist spots attract people to San Diego, but the supporters in the art world know that this type of event is not a luxury. It is indeed a necessity for economic growth. There's lots of evidence, both academic evidence and also case studies that demonstrate that investing in arts is one of the ways that you can create economic vibrancy, create a cultural environment that people want to live in. The other day I got $25 back, so that's, you know, a nice reward for me. Mary Eichert is talking about a rewards program that helps her save money. Bucks Back is a rewards program, um, you know, free for me to sign up and just gives me free money back on purchases that I make. In tough economic times, it just makes sense. And using this program, the dollars stack up. Famous number 13 right here, Matt. Kathy Brown, the new owner of Jersey Mike's, is a participating merchant. She says the program helps her grow her business and keep her consumers happy. They're local guys, they're very enthusiastic, and they've designed a program that benefits everybody. It benefits the merchant, it benefits the customer. The Bucks Back program has sparked media attention. B-U-X back. For Bucks Back members, it simply amounts to a way to save money and even give a tax-deductible contribution to your favorite charity through a seamless, easy online process. I've been a Bucks Back member for probably about 10 months or so. Um, yeah, it, it definitely gives me money back. Once you accrue $25 or more, Bucks Back will automatically deposit that money into your checking account or credit card of your choice, whatever you have signed up with them, or they give it to a nonprofit on behalf of you. Instead, he thought about others in the same condition. The spinal cord injury community are in such need that every small amount of money given to them can benefit in, in so many big ways. Bucks Back provides us an opportunity to kind of to be out in the community and where people just buying their normal, normal everyday items can be supporting us at the same time. So it's, it's huge for us to have that opportunity to have that type of funding coming in. And the program can equal big savings, allowing members to split their donations among charities or keep the money. Members can search an online database to find participating merchants. They can receive anywhere from 5 to 50% off and track their savings online. So if I come here and shop and spend $100, I get back a certain amount of money to my Bucks Back account. I can log on on a couple days to my account and see that I spent money, how much money is coming back to me. And um, or it's going to go to my non my nonprofit of choice. You can sign up for free from anywhere using any computer and any of your credit or debit cards. The question is, how safe is it to enter that information online? We take security very very seriously. Bucksback CEO Brian Booth says the company's security technology has never been compromised. The, the backbone of our technology is security. Our technology has been approved and verified by Visa, American Express and the largest credit card processors in North America. So you can be sure that your information is secure with us.
And the benefit of using Bucksback goes beyond the savings you get from participating merchants. Bucksback allows you to enroll your cards that are attached to other rewards programs, giving you an even greater return. Let's say maybe you get points or miles, you can get your points and miles and the cash back with our program. I like getting bucks back. Savings and giving back, all in one program, and all with just one swipe. For Live Fit Magazine, I'm Phoebe Chong Chua.